God rest ye merry gentlemen is a fun Christmas song. But singing it makes us wonder where the commas belong. We need to understand their placement or we'll sing it wrong. So let's find where the punctuation goes. Nobody knows. We'll discover how the commas shape the prose. Bum bum, bum bum, bum 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 bum. A comma before gentleman makes them whom we address. So rest ye merry after God could be something like bless. Or are they merry gentlemen invited to distress? Is this song about frolicsome fellows having a doze? Are we singing about celebrants repose? Putting the comma after God won't make sense anymore. Unless this ye is being used as Old English for your In which case this means take control God of your rowdy core Is this song about quiet God bestows boisterous prose Are we asking God for order to impose? With two commas then God here was a swear to emphasize Like damn it vent your merriment and go to bed now guys Are we so peeved by revelry that we antagonize? Is this song casting carolers as foes? Well we suppose but that all seems like it's kind of on the nose At this point we've been through each comma possibility so as a last resort, we'll turn to the song's history. The comma before gentleman is right, apparently. Oh, that's where the single comma goes. Now we can close. God rest ye merry, all who fix typos. Although technically speaking, a mistake made with a comma isn't necessarily a typo. It could have just been an error that was made by- <coughs> They will learn their dear daddy's pride. With Corazon, oh Corazon, look to the horizon. There you will see his ship on the sea. Corazon, oh Corazon, his adventures will carry on achieving victory single.